Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. Yesterday I found this really nice dad joke API. Uh, it's it's a public, uh, not public, but it's an API that doesn't require any authentication. So I, so I thought that we could we could use it for building this really easy, simple simple app. So what it needs, uh, it looks like there's an endpoint for fetching random dad joke. And here's the URL for the for the endpoint, and we want to use JSON plugin for for React Studio, so we need to get the get the uh, response in JSON format. So so let's create a new project. And let's call this screen random joke, and let's head to the data. Create a data sheet. I'll call this random joke like this. And then add a JSON plugin here. And what we need is the, the URL for the for the endpoint for fetching the fetching the choke and copy it from here. And then there was a HTTP header that we need. And it's this. And we need it as a JSON object. So I will just put the brackets and quotation marks here and we should be good to go. Just select the source here and the, here we have we have a random random joke. Let's build the UI for the for the app. I'll just use a component called this comp joke and double click the component. And yes, I want to add a background for the component. And what we need for the component? We need a text label for showing the joke. I'll track it here. And yes, I want everything to be in a scroll flow. I align this from left and right. And maybe 25 pixels from left and minus 25 pixels from right. And then a button for generating new random joke again. Let's allow the stretch and 25 and minus 25 like this. And finally, obviously, we need, we need to change the text. Random joke. And, and uh, what else do we need? We need the data. So let's link this uh, text to a property called joke. So here we have the joke, and what else? Uh, we probably want to have add some space under the under the button here. So I'll just add a track a grid spacer here. This is just an invisible element. I can make it like it's two units grid units width, and uh, now it looks better. And for generating a new joke, I think we need to add an interaction, and the interaction what we need is just to refresh the data sheet, which means it refreshes the JSON plugin and uh, we will we will get a new joke from the server. So just select refresh data sheet and random joke two I think yes that's the name for the for the let's call this random joke sheet to make it make it different then. So here we are refreshing the data sheet. And finally we need, just need to drag the element on the screen. Um, I will put it in a foreground group like this. Add a key line, put it in the middle, and then align this component to from center to key line. Now it will be centered on all device sizes. And just to be fancy, I think I will change the background color a bit. So let's choose some kind of color here. Let's go with the blue, and here we get the get the blue color with the uh, white component background. And finally, we need to uh, map the data so that the data data from the from the sheet gets to the component. So let's start it with adding a data source for the screen. We want to use random joke sheet and it will be the sheet row zero always. There's just one one 
row there and then select the component, go to nested component and just link the joke here and now we should we should have the app running. I will save this as a joke app and then run it in the browser. So here I have the app running in the browser. As you can see it's uh, it's responsive. The component stays in the middle thanks to the key line alignment. And if I click the ran generate random joke, I will get the new joke from the from the server. And that's how, how easy it was to build this kind of uh, fun app by using the dad joke API. Thanks for the makers. And uh, I will post the, post the link to the project file into the description of this, this video. Thank you for watching.